I won't go in at great lengths to the importance of uh, uh, saving the forest because all of us here uh, believe in that. I strongly worry about climate change and I am very committed uh, to the uh, need for regrowing and saving and uh, re regeneration of our forests. As a student of economic governance and policy, I am also deeply concerned that some red policies be adopted with great care. I'm a supporter, I want to see it happen. But we have to be very, very careful about the way we do this to ensure that they do not facilitate more deforestation and degradation uh, rather than less. Um, a group of us uh, have been engaged now in a large interdisciplinary uh, project, uh, the International Forestry Resources and Institutions Program, IFRI. My colleague Bernie Fisher, uh, sitting here in the front, uh, has been working with us as a forester, so we are really a interdisciplinary program that uh, blends social science and biology, ecology, and forestry very, I think, very effectively. We're working with centers in Bolivia, Colombia, Guatemala, India, Kenya, uh, Mexico, uh, Nepal, Tanzania, Thailand, Uganda, and the United States. And we have new centers being started in Ethiopia and China. Uh, IFRI is unique among efforts to study as forests as it is the only interdisciplinary long-term monitoring and research program uh, studying forests owned by governments, by private organizations, and by multiple communities uh, around the world. Um, as we know, forests are particularly important uh, given their role in climate change and carbon sequestration and saving biodiversity and their contributions to rural livelihoods. Uh, recently, uh, over the last 10 years or so, a very favorite policy has been uh, that the way to save forests is uh, create government protected areas. Uh, and we've taken that seriously and among uh, many of the sites we've studied uh, are government protected areas. Um, and uh, one of the studies that uh, Tony Hayes and I recently did several years ago was uh, to look at the rating of forest density uh, in a random sample of forest plots in uh, 163 forests. Those 163 forests uh, included 76, which were government-owned forests that were registered as legally designated protected areas. The 87 other forests were government forests for harvesting, private forests, community forests, just a whole array of other kinds of forests. We found absolutely no statistical difference between the government designated protected areas uh, and all the other kinds of forests in terms of forest density. Um, we did find that whether local users could make some of the rules made some difference, but protected areas, we found no difference. Uh, we've also examined, uh, Gibson and uh, um, Williams and I, uh, the role of local communities in monitoring behavior. And I'm gonna be talking quite a bit about monitoring and the willingness of local communities to uh, uh, watch each other and uh, if someone's in the forest uh, that they don't know uh, who are you uh, or if they're there on a day that they shouldn't be. Uh, did you forget that Wednesday is the day we're not going to harvest or any of the other things that people in a community can do with one another or if it's someone outside, uh, how to get officials uh, to get them out. 